Hello guys, this is Fungis.blogspot.com and today uh, I'll be giving you, uh, showing you a video review of the Infinix Outno smartphone that was released uh, sometime last week. Uh, the phone is also called uh, Infinix X511 which is by the name it goes uh, by sometimes in the market. So if you want to buy it, you can say I want to buy the Infinix Outnote or the Infinix uh, X511. As, as far as I'm concerned, this is a very wonderful smartphone especially for the price it's been offered um, uh, we've done a video review of this phone uh, of the unboxing and this is just to go in depth you know into the phone itself as you can see the phone in my hand is very very handy very very good I mean I love the, uh, the feel of the phone it's, it's very very premium and um, you would uh, you will enjoy it when you start using it because uh, it's just very very good so let's just dive right into uh, the usual aspects that we know about uh, currently this phone is a dual sim phone and um, it uses uh, two micro sim slot so if you uh, if you go here you know and try open this back case you'll see uh, the slot this this sim slot one and this sim slot two if you look very closely you find that uh, at, at this side they wrote uh, the fact that you can do uh, 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 GSM and uh, WCDMA, so this 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 can actually do 3.5G and 3.75G network. This also, which is the same two, also has the same uh, uh, stuff written on it, which means that they can both do same one and same two can both do uh, 3G and uh, and uh, 3.75G uh, uh, network capacity. So uh, to slot in sim one, all you have to do is impute a sim here. And in sim one you can slot it, and then in sim two you have to uh, open this up, and then pull your sim card here. And when you're done doing that, let's say for example I have a sim card here that that we can use. Uh, if you put this sim this sim card here, and then you can just uh, slide it in in here, and um, and then you would be able to uh, uh, use both sim card. This this stay in place. Uh, very well, you can see that sim 2 and both sims can do uh, 3G, uh, 3.75G uh, uh, network capacity. Uh, that is that about the same case. The weight this phone is not that heavy, it's just uh, weighing 8 point, uh, 172 grams total weight with the battery and everything. And you can, you can look at the, the thickness, is very, very, very good. It's not very, very thick. This is a, a 8.9 mm. Uh, uh, smartphone is not bulky very light in hand if you look closely at it very well it's very very light, light in my hand uh, I like the fact that uh, the, the design is uh, one powerful design I mean it's very very handy in your hand when you're holding your hand you will not feel uh, anything in your hand on the on the side here you have the power button here and you have the volume up and the volume down key so uh, at the other side you don't have any button at that side at all so you can operate this phone with one hand if you want to operate with one hand so it's very very uh, easy to operate like if I hold this phone right here I can press the power button from here I can press it again you know to take it off I can do the volume key uh, down and the volume uh, up key here so I mean it's just very very handy at the bottom part you have your uh, your USB port your, your micro USB I have a speaker uh, uh, sorry a microphone sorry to speak into the uh, phone when making calls at the reverse side you have your uh you have your infinite odd note written clearly there and you have an external speaker and on the top side top uh, right corner you have your uh led flashlight and you have the camera itself so that is that about uh the body of this smartphone at the top side you have your 3.5 mm uh, earphone port where you can plug in your earphones and you can listen to music and at the front side you have your uh 2.0 megapixel camera here you have a speaker also when making calls and at this other side here if you look closely you see uh, there's actually a sensor here that you can use to uh, that, that gives you this uh, lead notification in case you have calls or you have anything that, that, you know, that, that you need to attend to or even if you are charging the phone it shows red so that is that about uh, the, the body of this smartphone. I mean, it's, there's not so much to talk about. At the back here, you can always prop, uh, open the case from this place. All you have to do is uh, put your finger here, and then it's very, very easy to open. And then the phone itself will open up. 
so that is that about that uh, for the screen it has uh, a 5.5 inch uh, HD screen the screen is a IPS TFT screen and um, it's uh, it's very very good when it comes to resolution I mean I've watched videos on this on this guy and I just enjoyed um, this camera I've, um, I've, I've played uh, uh, videos from YouTube and I've done other things from this phone and I can assure you that the, 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 the screen resolution is just very very wonderful even from the video I'm showing you right now you can see how colorful uh, the screen let me just show you pictures that I actually save uh, from the internet these are, these are uh, sorry these are pictures I actually took with the camera and you can see how how, how beautiful these pictures are if I go to video uh, you see how clearly uh, the videos are shown let me just go to a uh, uh, video from uh, Amazon Instant, and you see how how how, how clear the uh, the screen of this of this smartphone is. It's, it's just it's just wonderful. I mean, uh, there are not so many phones for this price that will give you this high HD screen. Uh, the, the the resolution is actually 720 uh, by 10 uh, by 1280. So if you are uh, uh, looking at an, an HD screen. And you, and you want this is the phone you want let me, let me do this so you can see you can see how clear it is so imagine when, when you are looking at it from your own from because that because right now you're actually looking from uh from uh from the camera of another phone but imagine if you are looking at it from your own from your own perspective that is just awesome that is just awesome so i mean when it comes to screen resolution this this phone is great the browsing experience is awesome i've used it uh because for me to actually come and do a video review, I have to use it, test out everything. And I've done that, and so far I can tell that this is a wonderful, a well-made device uh, for, for, um, uh, for its price. So that is that about um, the screen resolution. The colors are vivid. Um, you enjoy it. So you can see how, how good it displays. Awesome display, HD display. You don't have any problem with display at all so that is that about that it comes with uh, uh android 4.4.2 in case you are you know, wondering what 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 version of android does it come with it comes under 4.4.2 kitkat you can see uh from the android version here and if i click here you see it actually displays the k which tells that it's actually android 4.4.2 smartphone and um, the interface is just awesome very very streamlined it's not it's not laggy i like the fact that you have your one touch settings here if you want if you want a flashlight just click here if you want a calculator if you want camera if you want sound recorder and if you want stopwatch all you have to do is just click on those uh, on those things you don't have to uh, start looking for them I mean one thing that influence have done with this phone is that they make it so accessible that the things you use every day every time you can easily uh, 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 reach them with, with one hand you don't have to always look for uh, um, those applications as we go in this review, I also demonstrate some other things about this phone that I like so much. Uh, now that we talk, you know, that, that we talk about the uh, the, uh, the memory, the uh, um, the RAM is one gigabyte RAM, uh, which for for a lot of people might say, oh, it's too small. But considering that we're, that, that we're talking about uh, Android Kika 4.4.2, 4 one gig RAM is is alright. I mean, you can perform uh, things swiftly and uh, very very fast. Also, uh, the internal memory is 16 gigabyte, and what is available for you from the 16 gigabyte is actually uh, 10.7. Um, let me show you what I'm trying to say here. Like, if you go to uh, to storage and memory, you find that I have 10.4, 10 10.41 gigabyte here, but it says total space is 16 gigabyte. But well, when you buy this one for the first time, the memory that comes with it, which is uh, which is what is available to you is 10.7 the reason being is that some part of the system uh, of the system have been used for os and other things like that uh, so that is why it comes with 10.7 and then your ram is uh, one if you look here it's one gig ram so that is that about uh, about the ram also uh, you can if you think that the 10.7 that comes with it is not enough for you you can always just this thing up with with a uh, with a memory card so it does have a memory, a memory card slot so you can put your SD, SD card, the standard SD card, and you can put up to, according to uh, uh, Infinite, it's supposed to up to 32 gigabyte of memory here. If you look at it here, look closely, 
you see it says uh, this is sig this is, uh, the icon for memory card so you can actually impute a memory card here and because we're talking about uh, Android KitKat it can actually support up to 64 so if you do have a 64 gb memory card you can also slot it in you know and and see if it works for you uh, uh, on this phone so that is that about the internal memory so if you want more space on your device all you have to do is uh, um, add that memory card to it and you have more space on your device so um and uh it's running it's a it's an octa core processor a smartphone with a clock speed of 1.4 gigahertz so i mean that is good enough that's almost 0.5 gig so you can do all your multitasking you can do all your things you can play your games it comes with a, with a very nice gpu a mali 4 uh, 400 gpu and that is just very very good for graphics and testing people so if you want to uh, do anything that's do with uh, high definition games and things like that you won't have problem with this phone at all one of the uh, features that, that i like about uh about this phone which is one of the salient selling point for this phone is the battery life i mean this is this is just awesome this phone comes with 4000 mah battery uh, power is a lithium uh, polymer battery and trust me this battery is awesome right now i have about uh 70 percent of battery life on this guy if not okay i have 78 percent and this guy can last me as it is right now it can last me two days on one single charge two days for a heavy user it can last you one and a half day if you're a heavy user that like is you use your phone for everything for browsing for pinging for picture for cropping pictures for replying to mails and doing and, and do all sort of things this phone can last you almost two days on a single charge so that is that that is just wonderful i mean that is something that infinite have, have, have actually uh, uh worked with when it comes to this phone and i've been using this phone for a while now i, I will not say there's any oddness there's no oddness there's no lag so this is just a very uh, uh awesome phone uh apart from the fact that it has a good battery the phone also comes with some uh battery management uh, 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 uh software so that in case you are running on, on you know on battery you can actually quickly manage the power and there was there's one part that like that trips me out which i'm going to show to you right now once the part once the, once the battery gets to uh below 20 percent it start uh, warning you and it, this power saving mode uh, kicks in immediately once it kicks in this phone can run again for hours right now it tells me i can run this phone for about 17 hours 23 minutes so if i if i if i turn on this uh this ultra power mode bam like that this phone goes straight into black screen and in black screen you can see the current available time from 17 hours goes to 18 hours that means you have extra 11 hours on this phone that is just awesome so the battery the battery saving feature is something that i like about this phone if you're on the go uh there are times that like maybe you're driving or you're doing something and you don't want to uh you don't want to uh, uh uh you don't want your batteries to keep draining like that once you switch on the ultra power saving mode everything wi-fi is switched off you think i can make calls you can check contact you can send messages you can check clock you cannot you cannot uh open um all the recent apps are gone. You cannot open any other thing. You are just presented with this particular screen, which is a black screen. It's not colored at all. And once you finish driving, you feel that okay, you can actually interact with your phone, or you, or, or you feel that you have enough juice on your phone. You can easily turn off uh, the battery saving mode from here, and then it tell you okay, uh, you, uh, you want to do that, and you say okay, and then you are back to the the, uh, the normal mode where you have your Wi-Fi and you have your thing, and the normal screen returns. So I mean, from 17 hours of battery life to 28 hours that is more than a day so when it comes to battery power this phone is awesome and that's one of the salient point that's one of the selling feature of this phone the the, the 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 battery and the power management feature for this phone is awesome i think i give uh, infinix a kudos uh for doing for actually uh, pulling this off which is something that guys have been you know um uh, wanting for a while now uh that is that about the battery life i mean and again if i go back you, you said that uh the battery is actually a non removable battery you cannot remove it it's actually inbuilt so let me let me show you that right here you can see uh the battery is non removable it's actually written on it that is inbuilt and uh, if you look down closely here you say inbuilt non removable cover so you can you can remove this battery this battery is inbuilt you can see it's actually screwed in uh with the help of the screws here it's actually screwed in so you can you can't take off uh, this battery, but I don't think there's a need 
to take off a battery as good as this except if you have a problem and there's a warranty so when you buy this phone within a year and you have a problem with it or maybe the battery is messing up you can just take it to any any car care office and that uh, will be fixed for you i like the placement of the camera this time around uh, i think they did that because they don't want any white glare to uh, affect the camera the, right, right this time around this, this is a 8.0 megapixel camera and below here you have uh, a dedicated flash so you can take pictures in a uh, low lit area and uh, uh, at the front side you have uh, a 2.0 uh, megapixel camera here let me just show you the pictures I've taken with this phone and the videos I've taken with this phone uh, within a couple of days I've actually used it so you see that actually the, the picture camera uh, this is around around uh, 5 o'clock in the evening and this is a video I shot with this phone this is just awesome uh, this is a video I showed you from this is just very very awesome you can see how clear how detailed the camera even though it's 8.0 megapixel camera uh, the, the, the image quality is awesome it's beautiful uh, this was shot like around uh, around almost getting to six so it was almost getting dark when uh, I shot uh, this picture and uh, so that, that, that is just um, awesome and this is an outdoor picture indoor pictures are also very good I don't have any indoor pictures here right now but I can show you that the indoor pictures are very good. I can actually try to show you indoor pictures if I log into uh, into my Google Drive, which I, um, I have some pictures that I actually took from it. Um, if I go to, uh, I think, other pics. No, I didn't. Uh, okay, I don't have them here. But, they ha I mean, the indoor pictures are equally as good as the, uh, as the outdoor pictures. And then... Um, uh, I've used them. I've used to take pictures indoors, and I can tell that they are very, 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 uh, very, very good. And let me just okay. I think I have some here right now. So uh, okay, this is an indoor picture I took. Uh, I took with a phone uh, just recently, and you can see how clear uh, this picture how uh, this picture is. So that is that about the camera, and the front-facing camera also is not bad. But just to demonstrate to you how good the camera is, you can see uh, this this um, this just uh, the camera. I'm trying I'm trying to uh, focus, so you can see. It. So I mean the 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 camera application also very very good. Also comes some features in it. If you look closely here, and I click on this, uh, if I click on this image, I can select what kind of um, um, uh, picture I want to take. So that the, the the my face shows up here. Uh, if you don't want that you can also select another one here so my face shows up in this place so i mean you think i've done a very good job uh, giving us awesome camera and also good fillers and good filters and uh, good uh, 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 software to actually run this device the interface on its own is just very very good uh one other feature i like about this phone because sometimes you don't want to always want to click on the power button uh, you know to uh, wake up the phone what infinix have done is that with the double tap of the screen the the, the the screen will come on so let me just demonstrate that to you right now if i double tap the screen right now it's going to come on that's just awesome so there are times that you don't want to always look for uh, the power button here to you know, you know to press it you just want to do something about it and then you just click on the screen also if you double tap the screen again it's going to go off uh one of that feature that i actually like about this phone is that when you put this phone in your pocket the phone automatically detects that this phone is in your pocket so if you if you if you, if it goes into your pocket and this place cover it tell you okay anti in a very little mode which means that if you put this in your pocket it's going to switch up by itself i mean the screen's going to switch up by itself which is a very good feature uh sometimes we put phone in our, in our, you know in our pocket and, and they keep dialing all kinds of numbers uh one other feature that i want to demonstrate on this phone is the the gesture feature like let's say sometimes you know you don't want to actually start looking for facebook up and down you, just, you actually want to use facebook or okay let's, or let's say you want to use whatsapp which is what more a lot of people use you know whatsapp and you don't want to start looking for the WhatsApp application. All you have to do is just uh, uh, draw W, and the phone is going to detect W, and it's going to launch WhatsApp for you. I mean, that's just brilliant. Or let's say uh, you want to, you're, you're in a party, you want to quickly take pictures, and your phone is locked. And you want to, you don't want to uh, uh, start looking for the camera app. You can just draw a C. If you draw a C, it's going to detect it, like I did just now, and it's going to launch the camera app. So that is just awesome that is just very awesome also uh, if you want to launch the uh, let's say music application because i love listen to music a lot music is m so just draw m 
on the screen. Once you do that, the phone is going to uh, uh, detect it and immediately launch the music application. And as you can see here, the music application actually have a new feel and life to it. It's not like uh, the usual uh, music application that you always know on uh, Infinix or Techno uh, or Infinix phones, you know. So it's actually very, very different right now. If you go straight to gallery, uh, uh, let's go to uh, settings, or let's go to display. Infinix have actually uh, included some new features in the wallpaper section. So if you go to wallpaper, you can say uh, uh, home screen wallpaper. You can say, um, let's go to wallpapers. You can see that different kind of wallpapers here but let's say you don't like the ones that Infinite actually given to you. You want new one? Just click on online, and from online, you can see uh, all kinds of different wallpaper, from abstract to animals, to landscape to female, uh, you know, to uh, other things like that. So you have beautiful wallpapers that you can that you can actually download on your phone and use straight. So let's say I want to download. I just click on download. I click on the download button, and it download, and it can set as wallpaper directly from here. So I mean that is just awesome. Uh, that's just awesome. I can tell that this phone I've been using it and it's just very very brilliant. Also the the microphone is very 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 sharp. Uh, let me demonstrate that to you. Okay Google. Okay Google. What is today's date? Okay Google. What movies are showing today? Here are the movies playing near Ashland today. What I just demonstrated now is the speed of the internet of the uh, of the Wi-Fi, how it demonstrate how it uh, browses, and also the, the the efficiency of the microphone. When you're making calls on this on, on, on this on this phone, the calls are clear, and the the, the, the other person at the other side can actually hear you very very well so that is that about that like i said earlier as a lot of gesture movement which i've shown to you but one thing i didn't say about gesture movement is that when you when you when the call comes in and let's say your hands is dirty or it's moist or something you don't have to touch the phone or you can just swipe once if you swipe like that the phone will be picked up and you can set that from the settings area if you go to uh, settings and you go to um you go to actions you see waving hands and move hand over the sensor to answer so if you put it if this is on right if this is on once this is on and the phone and the, and the call comes in all you have to do is wave your hand on top of the phone once you do that it's going to pick up the phone so i don't usually use that but if you want if that is a forte you can you can easily you know uh click on that and that will um uh, work for you and that feature i like to demonstrate is that uh this this phone comes with with, with, with a lot of um good connectivity features you have wi-fi uh you have a uh, wi-fi abgn you also have bluetooth version 4.0 and you have the odd not feature uh not so many people know about the odd not but i mean it's uh it's a very good feature for for sharing files without having to pair with any device so you work with other uh other uh, devices that also have up uh odd not on it so all you just have to do is uh, if you have a file that you want to share uh, click on the file and then touch the other device and then and that is that about the uh art node. when you buy this phone for the first time you get uh from let's say from jumia for example you get two gigabyte of uh, uh free mtn data and you also have free music streaming unlimited free music streaming for the whole year free i mean totally free you're not paying a dime so that is that about this phone and you were only asking how much is this phone it's just twenty three thousand five hundred naira a phone this good is a 5.5 inch uh, tablet very awesome feels good in the hand at the back side you have the infinix just slightly written at the bottom side you have the up note there in the front side nothing is written just the phone very easy very very handy i mean using this phone is a blessing i'm locking the phone and switching on the screen you know, uh, bringing it back, you know, launching applications has never been easier on on, on on any smartphone before until now. So, I mean, it's just wonderful. I've, I've, I've tried to launch Facebook using the F key, but it didn't launch. But overall, the Infinix Otno smartphone is a great smartphone. I've used it for a couple of, day, uh, of days right now, and I can tell you that when it comes to browsing, when it comes to uh, 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 video output, it is awesome. When it comes to uh, uh, sound production, 
it is awesome i mean it's a wonderful phone it's a well made phone for its price and as far as we're concerned i'm i'm, I'm giving this phone uh 8.5 over 10. i'm considering the price i'm considering the build quality and i'm considering the features that comes with this phone i'm giving it an 8.5 so if, you, if you're looking for a phone an android phone that will fit your budget that will serve you well you can read books on it you can read documents on it this is the phone you want to get i mean when it comes to uh, reading emails the emails are just very very good i'm going to show you uh, this is my email when it comes to checking facebook it's awesome it is it's, it's fast it's responsive it doesn't lag facebook is awesome on this phone uh whatsapp is awesome on this phone all kinds of stuff are awesome on this phone i mean it's just a wonderful phone that if you have it for, for the next uh one year you don't think about buying any other phone the response is, is is awesome the the everything is just awesome the video quality is awesome the picture quality is awesome everything about this phone is good so and that's why i say you know what i'm going to do a video review about this phone so that people can see how good this, this phone is for a small fee of twenty three thousand five hundred. that's less than 120 dollars i mean imagine if you're in the a lot, of, a lot of americans pay a big amount of money for phones and they are not even as good as this this is just a wonderful phone that if you have it for the next one year you're not thinking of buying any other phone so uh again this is the and this is the, uh, infinix Hot note uh, smartphone or infinix x551 so uh that is the uh the um the build number here i will get this phone when it comes when you when first when you first buy it he may not be updated it might come with a 2015 february 05 this is the 2015 February 16th. So I actually updated uh, this phone. Uh, I want to add again that this phone has, uh, apart from the Wi-Fi and, and, and Bluetooth and whatnot, you also have a hotspot feature, and has, and, it, and you know uh, you can also uh, uh, use your your USB uh, on the go with it. So uh, this is the interface for for uh, because it's, it's quite different. It's it's more like uh, uh, a very a very uh, original interface done by infinix here you have the owner the airplay mode the settings battery you have the wi-fi the bluetooth data connection gps and the gps talking about gps gps is awesome i mean it's very very fast on other phones it takes seconds uh, it takes minutes for them to actually locate where you have not with this phone with this phone the gps is very very powerful i've used google maps on it and i can tell you that the google map on this phone is just wonderful I'm looking for Google Maps so I can uh, demonstrate that to you in you know in a very uh, short part. I'm giving you a full review of this phone right now so that you can see that I mean this phone uh, is very 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 powerful, very very good. Yeah. One more feature I like about this phone is the fact that um, you can actually give applications uh, 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 permissions. It has a, a, a settings that tells you what app you want uh, to give permission to do some certain things. Like if you go to settings and you go to uh, uh, um, uh, security, I think it's under security. Uh, you, you see, um, if you go to under security, I think it's security or there about. But if you go there, you see there's a feature that allows you to set what application can use what application can use what services so you, you can you can actually i mean yeah, infinix just give you all kinds of features on this phone that allows you to do all kinds of stuff so if you want to do a uh, gesture you can do with this phone if you want to restrict application from using certain uh certain uh, uh services you can do it and it will be restricted i've tried it before and it was just very very awesome so I mean, for for a phone of twelve thousand, uh, sorry, uh, twenty three thousand five hundred, I can say this is a good buy. If you if you if you buy it, the screen is awesome. It feels good in the hand. It's not heavy at all, and the quality of this phone is just superb. Uh, I would advise you if you want to buy it, go for it. It comes with uh, uh, when you when you buy it for the first time, yeah, what you get in the phone is what you have here. This is the casing for the phone right now. If you open this up open this up you have your charger and you have your earphone piece and please when you're charging this phone if you use this charger it charges even faster 
than your regular uh, charger. Uh, apart from that, the charging uh, for the for for the uh, for the fast charging is it, it works more with this uh, with this charger than any other charger. It's not Infinix branded, so that is that about uh, the Infinix uh, uh, charger. So if you are if you are using um, a charger for the fast charge, I would advise you use this. If your if your charger is is, is defective, buy a similar charger with the same power rating as this, as shown here. You can see here it has 1.3 amps as output. 1.5 as output. So I mean that is just the power rating that that is that, that you can use to actually achieve the fast charging feature. So that within 20 minutes you can charge your phone from from 0% to 50%, and you can use your phone for a long time. So uh, that is that about uh, the fast charging feature. Uh, let me just wrap up this 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 review. I didn't demonstrate any HD game because uh, I don't have uh, the HD game on this phone, but like like any other uh, Infinix phone, you can play HD game if you have it installed. You can see the, the screen quality. You can see uh, it has one gig RAM. It has excellent uh, GPU to run HD games. And overall, this is just a wonderful smartphone for the price. It's a wonderful smartphone, and all the features in this phone is something that you will like. And I and I believe that uh, if you if you end up buying this phone based on my review, you will come back and say, you know what, phone just you are the bomb. You gave me a good review of this phone. I want to buy it and I'm not disappointed. So if you do like this uh, this video, please don't uh, hesitate to, like, to click on the like button or a thumbs up button. Um, and if you want more videos review, please subscribe to our channel uh, and go to our Facebook page www.facebook.com slash phonegist. You can also follow us on Twitter as uh, twitter.com slash Akila Louis Fair. Uh, so that is that about the Infinix X51. 551 or the Infinix Hot Note, and in, uh, in days to come, I will bring you know, more more uh, more reviews to show you the performance uh, of this phone or areas I have not touched that you, that you want me to touch in my next uh, uh, review. I'll be showing it to you, and I hope that you guys uh, will like this review very very much. Thank you. Have a good day.